Yes, yes, yo. My name is Shoda Mola Olushe Desmond. You already know me as DJ Spinner, aka The Cap. Welcome to my episode of My Music and High. And of course, Happy New Year to my fans. Happy New Year to Sound City lovers. God bless. I'm signed to State of Mind Entertainment Management. I don't have a record label. It's Jesus Christ and his son's record label. This is the masterpiece. I just released this. A 16-track album featuring some of the biggest names in African music. This is my story, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to talk about some of the tracks on my album. You know, with time, we can't talk about all the 16 tracks, but I'll just talk about five. One of the tracks on the album that is really, really, really dear to me is a track I did with um, Mafiki Zolo and Ice Prince. That song was produced by Dre Beats. I also co-produced it. The inspiration behind the song is it's not, it's not really, really far-fetched. I reached out to Mafiki Zolo. I, I never expected they were going to reply, you know. I mean, the whole mighty Mafiki Zolo. And um, they replied and they were like, yo, we would like to work with you too. I'm like, really? <laughs> I sent them a um, couple of beats and um, they were not feeling the first three beats I sent to them until this final one from Dre Beats. So they liked it and um, they sent me the first verse almost like almost instantly. You know, I respect their work ethics. So when I heard the first part, I'm like, hmm. This has totally changed the direction of where we're going. What I wanted to talk about was African unity, but I didn't understand what they were saying in the song. You know, they were speaking the, you know, the South African dialect. I went back and contacted them like, please send me <laughs> the meaning of what you've just said, you know? And um, so they, they gave me a lyrics to what they just did in English. I took that, I started thinking about which that one rapper there can make this song completely fresh, you know? So then I remember Ice Springs, King of Fresh. I mean, you can't see Ice Springs and tell me that guy is not fresh. From his music to his lifestyle, it's a cool, it's a super cool cat. So I walked up to Ice Springs, he was in the studio and I played a song for him. And immediately I said, yo, put on the mic and we vibe to it and the song was, it was done. And anytime you talk, man, you just know it's too bad, I wanna go Featuring Two Face, Dibia, and One Deco. What was the inspiration behind this song? There is no way, as a Nigerian artist or whatever you do in music, you wouldn't want to work with the legend Two Face. Two Face is not your average Nigerian artist. He is in every way spiritual, legendary, almighty. So, I mean, it was very paramount that we do a song together. I've been trying to work with him for, for as long as I remember and it's been very hard. So on this particular day, um, he invited me over to the house. He asked me to play my ideas. I played a couple of ideas. I, there, I, wrote, I, I wrote a song, so I played it for him and he was like, okay, this is nice, this is not bad. Why don't we use this for a second project? This is what I have in mind. You know? and, uh, I mean, when the legend say this is what he has in mind, you have to go with the legend. That was my first single actually, Black Bear. We recorded that song in Bonas studio. What led to that song was because I was just at home and I was reading all kinds of publications about Bonner boy, oh Bonner is this, Bonner is that, ah, he's a bad boy, you know, and all these talks did not stop. So I called my friend, I'm like, yo, you, you got to say something about all these things people are saying about you. And it's like, really? Uh, yeah, you have to let people know, you know. So he invited me to the studio. I called my friend Spells who is one of the most talented also that I've ever worked with and went to Bonners and I gave him ideas like, look, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I think, this is what I think. And voila, we made Black Bear. So in Black Bear, we're talking about don't ever listen to what critics say sometimes, especially when it's not true, you know. Anything they talk, you know. You know, if you listen to the lyrics, you understand it better. Pepe Dem was as a result. What, what led to the inspiration of Pepe Dem was because often at times when you're doing well in watch whatever you're doing, people start to jealous you. People start to hate on your game and they don't even understand what it cost you to get to where you are. So a lot of people are going through this, not just me. A lot of people feel like people just don't want to see you succeed. So we made a song for them. The song is basically telling you that don't stop doing what you're doing because people don't like what you're doing. You know, people have a way of going against anybody that's 
doing well. So we did a song prepared. Um, that's the inspiration behind it. E. Kelly produced it. E. Kelly produced about five tracks on the album. Yes, talented E. Kelly. And um, so that's it. Five songs of the album. I mean, I still look forward to collaborating with a lot of artists. I'm a big fan of Chris Brown. I'm a big, big fan of Chris Brown. I'm a big fan of um, a lot of artists around this part of the world. I've not, I have some songs with Wiz. We've not finally decided which one to go out. I'm a big fan of Wiz. I'm a big fan of the video as well. My song with the video is ready, coming out anytime soon. Sound City, you heard it first. I'm also working with somebody in the East part of Africa. I don't want to mention her name, but you can also guess it. Looking forward to working with her soon. I'm also looking forward to work with, um, you know, new guys, you know. I'm, I always think that sometimes the new guys have the baddest ideas, you know, because they are so not distracted by whatever is going on in the industry. So the level of creativity is very sharp. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to tie up from the blessings. I'm looking forward to work with producers. You know, I'm working on a track. Oh, let me not say everything I'm working on. <laughs> so that, you know, day, the days will not come on, you know. I see everybody accusing everybody of theft and all that. So let me not talk about everything. Everybody, I want to see your hands in the air like this. Hands in the air like throw this. Throw it up, throw it up. My best performance and my worst performance so far. Now, worst performance, it was not long ago. It was somewhere around the Nuru. I'll not mention the name of the venue. You know, and the sound kept going off. You know, they said DJ put all in the building, and I bounced out. You know, all that swag. I adjusted my cap, and I walked to the DJ booth, chiki chiki chiki, and I heard boom, and the sound went off. You know, so the sound engineer said I should come out from the stage. He's gonna work on it. Ten minutes later, I said the sound is fine. I should go back on stage. So I went back on stage. I tried to play music. The sound went off again, and my fans kept saying ah uh ah -uh, ah uh ah. -uh. You know, it wasn't my fault. It was the sound engineer's fault, and sound engineer. I to say it was the lights fault. I don't know who Nepal would blame, but I think to date I was I felt really bad. I was very very devastated. And I think after some after some technical sort out here and there, it came back and I went back on stage and I took the people on a journey. And that also in some in some way happens to be one of my favorite performance because for me I like to be challenged. I like when things don't go right and I'm able to make it right. What makes you good at what you do is not just when everything is going on fine, but when they are not going on fine, your ability as a captain or as the cap to be able to turn the ship around makes you a dope DJ, you know. Some DJs will have left, will have disappointed the fans and just go home. But no, DJs cannot don't do that. When things don't work, we make sure they work. My best performance. The list is endless. Sound City Blast. Yes, yes, that just passed. Please play it, play it. Play that Sound City clip. Let my fans see it. My fans love me, yo. I've not even, I did not even play anything that day. And my fans went crazy. Man, I love you guys. I love you guys. As I wake up every morning, I keep up by your praises. The only thing with them my mind in the money. Thank you so much, guys. I wish I could stay here longer, but you know, I have to go. The album is out. You can get it on iTunes, it's on Tidal, it's on Google Plus, it's on MTM Music Plus, it's on the streets. Spin off. Yes, they call me DJ Spinner, AKA The Cap. And this is Sound City, my music, and I. Thank you so much, bless. I'm you.